everyone here uh, today here we have discuss a uh, unit number 6 non ferrous metal and the topic name aluminum and its alloys the syllables as per spppo classification of non ferrous metal importance of non ferrous metals in engineering applications and compositions study of different mechanical properties such as copper and copper based alloys aluminum and aluminum based alloys nickel and nickel based alloys cobalt and cobalt based alloys titanium and its alloys tin and lead based alloys bearing materials it includes the important properties and applications first we have discuss the introduction introduction part of unit number 6 metallic material can be classified into two types ferrous materials and the non ferrous materials many non ferrous materials find the application in various industrial sectors in this chapter we have discuss the composition characteristics and properties of non ferrous materials the important non ferrous materials are copper and its alloys aluminum and its alloys nickel and its alloys bearing materials titanium and its alloys soldering and brazing alloys ferrous material means what the ferrous material means which contain the iron as a base material whereas non ferrous material have other element than iron what is the application of non ferrous material it has low density hence light in weight easy to fabricate high corrosion resistance high electrical conductivity what is the difference between ferrous metal and non ferrous metal first we have discuss the ferrous material points it contains iron as a base metal where in case of non ferrous uh, metals it does not contain iron as a base metal second it has a magnetic property in case of non ferrous material it does not possess the mechanical property magnetic property third one it has a higher weight in case of non ferrous metal it is light in weight in ferrous metal gives a little resistance to corrosion in case of non ferrous material gives a high resistance to corrosion next it is less malleable in case of non ferrous metal it is more malleable according to the carbon percentage different types of ferrous metal are obtained in case of non ferrous metal different types of non ferrous metal can be depend upon their base metal examples of ferrous metal pig iron cast iron wrought iron and steel in case of non ferrous material examples are aluminum copper and silver first we have discuss aluminum and its alloy it is the second most used non ferrous metal it is an alloy which contains silicon copper and magnesium to improve its property some important properties of aluminum are as follows aluminum is light in weight it has low density it shows higher ductility and malleability it has good heat and electrical conductivity it is non magnetic in nature it is used for cooking utensils food containers and transport industries next different use of aluminum 
and alloy in packing sector 18% of aluminium used in electrical sector 9% of aluminium used in consumer goods 8% of aluminium used in machinery and instrument 8% of aluminium are used in transport industry 31% of aluminium used in building and construction 20% of aluminium and its alloy is used and 8% alloys is used in other next aluminium copper alloy it includes lm11 the compositions of lm11 it contain aluminium 95.5% and copper 4.5% what is the property it produce good strength after precipitation hardening it has a good mechanical and shock resisting property what is the application of that casting for aircrafts and high stress part next lm14 which is also called as y alloy the composition of lm14 aluminum 92.5% copper 4% nickel 2% and magnesium 1.5% properties of y alloy it has an excellent ability to retain strength at elevated temperature it has low thermal expansion it has high resistance to corrosion it can be easily cast and rolled application of lm14 in manufacturing industry for manufacturing of piston cylinder heads of ic engines next rr350 the composition of rr350 aluminum about 92% copper 5% nickel 1.5% and small amount of manganese titanium cobalt zirconium and tin properties it has excellent ability to retain strength at elevated temperature it is superior to y alloy in regards to creep resistance what is the application of that in manufacturing of aircraft engine at high temperature applications up to 300 degree centigrade this is the figure for aluminum silicon alloy x axis indicate the composition weight whereas y axis represent the temperature range aluminum is the base metal and silicon is the major alloying element the phase transformation diagram of aluminum and silicon alloy is as shown in figure the eutectic transformation from liquid to solid state takes place at a constant temperature of 577 degree centigrade where the liquid get transform into two solid the liquid it is the mixture of aluminum and silicon get transform into two solid first one aluminum solid and second one silicon solid next aluminum silicon alloy it includes lm6 the composition of that alloys aluminum 88% silicon 12% the properties of lm6 are it has 
high corrosion resistance it has excellent fluidity due to presence of silicon it has less shrinkage during solidification application of lm6 in casting such as water cooled manifold and jackets motor housing pump casting etc lm13 the composition of lm13 are aluminum 83.4% silicon 12% nickel 2.5% copper 0.9% and magnesium 1.2% properties of lm13 are it has excellent ability to retain strength at elevated temperature it has low coefficient of thermal expansion it has good bearing properties it can be easily forged applications of lm13 forged piston and other automobile parts next one aluminium magnesium alloys the alloys which includes duralium lm6 lm13 lm5 lm10 and y alloy first the composition it includes 4% copper and the balance aluminium properties good hardness strength and good hardenability and the application of that in aircraft industry second one lm6 having composition 12% silicon and balanced aluminium properties of lm6 are high corrosion resistance and good fluidity it is used in casting for automobile and the pump parts next lm13 having composition 12.5% silicon 2.5% nickel and 1% copper 1.2% magnesium and balanced aluminium properties of lm13 are good forge ability and low coefficient of thermal expansion it is used in automobile industry for manufacturing of piston next one lm5 having compositions 5% silicon and balanced aluminium properties of lm5 good weldability and corrosion resistance having applications in marine in marine industry next lm10 having composition 10% magnesium and balanced aluminium having good properties in hardenability and poor properties in casting having application in aircraft and automobile components and last one is your y alloy having compositions 4% copper 2% nickel 1.5% magnesium and balanced aluminium having property low thermal expansion and the application of y alloy in piston and cylinder leads of ic engine thank you